start biting, spitting. Bitch, you did not just get flipped. Yo, to let's get it. Yo, today we got another day, another Tubi movie. Today we'll be watching the stepdaughter. A lot of people tell me to watch this. People also tell me to watch the stepmother. Apparently that's three parts. We can watch that too. Yeah, bro. Ain't really too much to say. Let's get into the description. After moving in with her dad and his new family, a seemingly sweet high schooler is willing to do anything to keep him to herself, including murder. Hold on. Moving in with her dad and his new family, a seemingly sweet high schooler is willing to do anything to keep him to herself, including murder. Okay, let's... Hope they're talking about family wise. All right, chat. So you taking Jordan or you taking LeBron? <laughs> mm, Jordan, LeBron, bro. You gotta think about that. Uh, 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 yeah, respect that. Uh. What situation? Is the goat. Why Thank are we you. still doing this? Shut Thank up. You. I'm getting some wine. Do you want? Yes. Do you want? Two more beers. Fine, shit, no. Make okay. that two with. Thank two you. More beer. Don't be mad. No, I ain't mad. We got this movie. We got <laughs> last movie. We ain't had no fine shit. This movie got the fine shit. He is amazing, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's something. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Cass, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Cass. Three of them? What oh, the fuck? Nothing. <laughs> it's never nothing. Always fully loaded? Really, Rhonda? <laughs> I mean, really. I'm just saying. Rhonda. Sure, I, I just... remember the goal. <laughs> Don't you think four months is a little too quit wit? Of course it is. I'm in love, and I'm not getting any younger. After Married in four months? Back to yourself. Oh, okay. Her stupid ass. One second. Love okay. him. Where the thick shit at, though? No. You had to find shit. Where the thick shit at? Hi. I'm looking for Michael Lawrence. Is he here? You're Joanna. Yeah, I am. How'd you know? I've seen so many pictures of you. I would never forget a beautiful face. <laughs> Your dad talks about you all the time. I'm Whitney, his wife. I know. It's nice to meet you. Come in. Yeah. I'm sorry. Get, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> um, Michael. Baby, this is Jordan, right? Hey, 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 Jordan, ask, ask her who's the go. This is it. She Baby, come here. Bro, no. You're not. Stop. Don't touch. 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 Don't God. What are you doing here, baby? I know I should have called, but I thought it would be better if we spoke in person. Is everything all right? Granny Linda died. Damn. Babe. Well, I'm sorry. Do you have anywhere to stay or... Um, my Aunt Deborah offered for me to move in with her family, but she already has six kids, so I don't no, know. No, we are really happy that you came here. You are going to stay with us. What? No questions asked, please. Really? And yes, and in our guest bedroom. We gotta fix it up a little bit, but it's gonna be perfect. Thanks. Don't worry she seemed like bed. a sweet lady. Oh, baby. Let her meet the boys. Perfect. And we right. have a barbecue going, so it's great timing. Just, yeah. Come, come, please. Hey. Pause the game for a minute. I need to talk to you. Just go. Mm. Hit the three. Mm. Fine. Yes? Boys, this is my daughter, Joanna. She's your new stepsister. Hi. I'm Eric. Hi, Eric. And this uh, handsome young man is Whitney's older son, Brian. Uh, but yeah, everyone calls me BK. No, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, yeah, yes, nobody do. nobody my, calls my that. My friends nigga. call me BK. Niggas get around the whole side of anything, bro. Shit sad, honestly. Exactly, exactly what I do. Your house is so beautiful. When my dad first told me that you were dating, I looked you up and I ordered some of your products and they were really good. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I could have given you them for free. This is a really nice photo. Oh, what's this? Oh, um, um, that's my mother's urn. She passed away a little over a year ago, and we were really close. Why so she just grabbing shit, though? Here. Hold on, I don't like that. No one touches it. Well, that's really sweet. 
I really wish I would have done something like that. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. It's okay. It's just been a lot. No, it's fine. All right, crazy. It's okay, man. Right? Not touching shit crazy. I would have kicked her out of the grid. Hey, can, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. Oh, shoot. I didn't know nice you came. Oh, yeah, I do it for fun. Is that supposed to be you? Oh, yeah, this is me. Um, the painting basically just represents the two women I love the most in my life dying. Well, you are, you're, you are talented. Appreciate it. Apparently, I get it from my mother. What's little man trying to do? Is this her? Uh, yeah, that's her. I'm watching this nigga closely. Wow, I mean. I've been singing a lot of shit. She's, she's gorgeous. You look just like her. You know, do you, uh, you miss her a lot? Go ahead, nigga. Yeah, I do. What type of question? What is all this stuff for? Oh, these are samples that I'm prepping for my pitch meeting I have coming up. What's a pitch meeting? I have a meeting with some execs from Walmart. So if all goes well, they'll start to carry my products in their stores. And that means worldwide distribution. That would be huge for us. <laughs> wow. This is all so cool. You're really like an inspiration to a lot of girls like me. I really do hope that one day I can be somewhat like you. Oh, you're so sweet. And beautiful. Your dad tells me how creative and smart you are. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because I'm always bragging about my baby. Uh -huh. Maybe we could have a girl's day this weekend. And go get our nails done or facial or something like that. What do you what do you say? Yeah, that, that sounds great. Um, let me think about it. Okay. No, no! No, no, no! Wait, wait, wait. She is wreaking havoc. That is the most insane shit she could have done. Ma do something do nothing though, yo. Why'd she do it? Why'd she have to crash out like that though, bro? That's fucked up. I like Shorty too. I like the wife. She cool. Hey, oh hey, hey, what are y'all doing? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, happened. Mom! Oh. Mom! No, 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 don't touch just don't touch anything. Can I help? No, no, no. I got it. It's okay. What do, you, what do you want, baby? We you know how this happens. Hey, can I do that? Yes. Can you get me a container, please? Uh, I can't believe this. Baby, what? Put two and two together. Accidents happen, but the fact that she acted like she didn't even do it, it's a little troubling. What a camera is that? She was probably scared to say something. Think about it. If it was you, don't you think you would be a little afraid, too? Put yourself in her shoes. I'm saying she just got here. I guess you're right. Hi. <laughs> Have a seat. Hello, everybody. Thank you. This is Lawrence, I yes. presume. <laughs> Mr. Robertson, it is so nice to finally meet you in person. And likewise. Really looking forward to this one. Great. Well, let's get started. Wonderful. Uh, we've taken the liberty to place my business prospectus in front of you there, so please feel free to take a look. So, as you can see, my primers all have a very nice golden undertone. And you said this is all natural ingredients? Oh, absolutely. I rely heavily on a coconut and aloe vera base. Well, according to our researchers, you've done very well for yourself. Thanks. So tell me, why change your sales strategy now and get in bed with us? It's simple, Mr. Robertson. Your stores can target young, low-income black women, and I simply cannot. Great answer. Thank um, you. Wit? I'm really sorry, but I think I need to go wash this off. One second. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah. Um, I think I'm having some type of reaction. Okay. No, me too. I, I thought I was going crazy, but it doesn't feel right. Okay, okay, one second. Um. Oh my gosh, she fucked it up. This uh, normally doesn't happen. Okay, here, here. Ooh, it feels like my face is on fire. Oh, it's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! It's a whore? No, it's a dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. Oh, 
No. What did she put in her shoe? I don't know. It was terrible. Just. It's okay, Eva. Sorry. It's okay. Hi. Hi, I just I just wanted to tell you that my dad told me what happened. I'm so sorry that everything fell through. Oh, thank you, Joanna. Yeah. Uh, and there's gonna be other opportunities. Yeah, for sure. So I, I just wanted to ask if your offer still stands. What offer? girls day would be good oh yeah yes uh why don't yes let's do it this saturday that sounds great works yeah. for me yeah it's evil me ass too. bitch all right well see you tomorrow good night yes okay good night oh, she in the bedroom she just got here, bro. Like, it's only her first week and she out here snooping and shit, like, breaking and shit, like, eh. She's not even playing smart. What is this? Flukes of mine? Hmm. Bro. Nah, no way. Hold on. Nah, 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 nah. She killed fine shit. I'm done. I am so tired. I'm not feeling very well. Oh no. Can you drive? Yeah, of are course. You, are you okay with that? Yeah, I have my license. Please, someone come save Fasha. Thank you. Thank you. Well, can you at least go to the doctor? Please. So you can make sure everything is okay? I'm serious. This nigga line up fucked up. Look at this shit. Yeah. That nigga shit cooked. Shiesty piece of shit. What are you doing? Minding my own business. Oh, that scared me. Something you should learn how to do. I know you did something to my mom. <laughs> what are you talking about? Stand on business, little bro. She left and she was totally fine. She came back and she fell out. Listen here, Chief. Stand on Bennett, little bro. I'm gonna tell you this once. You need to be careful what you accuse me of. You don't know me. And you don't know me. You don't want to get on my bad side. Or what, bitch? I can be a dream. My bad. Or your worst nightmare. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. And if you want your mommy to be okay, you didn't see anything tonight. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, my God. She's insane. So she put on her outfit, took the card to buy it in her name, and she looks just like her. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all see this? I don't know a lot, but I know this is bad wiggage. That's what I do now. What is she buying now? Gasoline and a rope? Did you take care of the lady's medical costs? Oh, yeah, for sure. Hold on. Uh, I don't know where my credit card is. Uh, have you guys seen my credit card? Uh, no. No. Um, hold on. Let me call you back, okay? The grapes are here. Tell her. Eric, baby, have you seen my credit card? No, I haven't seen it. Come on, yo. Joanna, have you seen it? Seen what? My credit card. Your credit card? Why are you asking me? I'm asking you because the last time I remember using it was at the spa when I was with you. No. Oh. Well, I really don't appreciate your little passive aggressive accusation. First of all, I didn't accuse you of anything. I asked you the same question that I asked the boys. Hey, just cut the shit. Excuse me, what did you just say? I said cut the shit. With. Hey, you need to watch your mouth in my house, little girl. Oh, in your house? <laughs> this is what this is all about, isn't it? Your house. And I am not your little girl. 
Hey, you? hey, hey, hey! Oh, shit. What was all that about? Your wife here is accusing me of stealing her credit card. I didn't accuse her of anything. Yeah, she did. Baby. She did. All right. You mean this credit card? <laughs> yes. Where did you find it? You left it on the dresser. I'm not shocked. Joanna? We need to talk. I'm done with this conversation. You too. Come with me. I'd like to oh speak to you. Oh my god. She a bitch. You can go. What the hell was that? I asked her had she seen my card, just like I asked the boys. It was a simple question. You need to go check her. Yeah, She's yeah, out of line. Yeah. I will. It's not really like you to accuse anyone. But still, come on, baby. Joanna's a teenager. The fuck that means? She's full of emotion, man. She just lost her grandmother. So, yeah. And she's probably on a little teenage period, monthly woman thing, whatever y'all do. So, yeah, she probably is crazy right now. Uh, uh, I was worse when I was 17. There you go. Hello? Hello? Stay on 10, little bruh. Hey, what are you doing out here? God, Jesus, you scared me. I couldn't sleep. I know what you're doing. I'm not five. I saw you smoking weed. Hmm. Why don't you come take a seat right next to me? She gonna push you off a little bit. I don't do it. I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. You know, we're brother and sister now. We should establish a real bond with each other where we can keep secrets to ourselves. What do you say? Truce? You're just trying to be nice to me so I don't snitch on you, huh? Oh, shit. What are you doing? Is it working? A little. You're stupid little nigga, bro. Have you ever had a beer before? I'm 12 years old. Why would I have a beer? I started drinking beer when I was 11. You should try one. You're crazy. Look at the view, it's nice. What's she just Here, here's a beer, you should try it. Hell nah, yeah. You'll like it, I promise. They say real men drink beer. He's 12! No! 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 It's it's not that bad. She was just put fentanyl on that bitch. My man just drunk fentanyl. It's not the best. My man just drunk fentanyl. Hey. We'll drink together. Cheers. She wastes my little man, bro. So good. Why are you making that face? You know you like it. Hey. You know, people are always complaining about being an only child. It was lonely and they wish they had more kids in the house with them. No, I actually didn't mind it. Hell, actually, I enjoyed it. I got all the toys to myself. I didn't have to deal with any other little boys around me. It was great. Then my dad decided to play super dad for your family. Gotta deal with you little rascals. He better be alive. He better be alive. It's fine. Hello? Now I have to take care of this mess. Ugh. No. It's time for you to die. No. Hey. Wait. Hey, what are you doing? What? No. Damn it. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I got out here. Oh my God, are you are you sleepwalking? I don't know. I, I, I had a, a dream and baby, you 
drown. This a horror? This is a movie where this is actually a good movie. It's a lot happening, but it's not, but it's not a lot happening. But like you gotta you gotta watch. Like you actually gotta watch. You can't really you feel me? I've debunked the same shit y'all debunked. Joanna's a bitch. Little bro with dumb ass. Um, she's actually crazy. For one, breaking the urn was crazy. That was insane. And then she laced the pills. And then she stole a card to buy gasoline and a rope. And stole a fit. And then laced Lil Yo beer. And then was about to push him off the roof. What the fuck? All right, guys. I'm about to get out of here. Okay, have a safe trip. <laughs> you in charge now, right? <laughs> you take care of the house. I can cancel the trip. I don't have to go. Don't worry, okay? Now you're gonna go. Get out. Oh, <laughs> come on. Kicking me out now. Yes. I'm canceling that trip. You got somebody else coming over here? Yes, I'm coming over there. Shit, need a new man in the house. I'm here. I'm not the stepfather. I'm the father that stepped up. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. Get this is Kevin from Quick Chem Labs. I'm calling about those makeup samples that you sent us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you find out what happened with my samples? Yes, ma'am. So. Most of the samples are perfectly fine, but I don't know, some of them have a high concentration of sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide? Yeah, they're mixed in. How would lye get into my... Listen, ma'am, as you know, oh, lye is highly toxic. Okay, th thank you. You're welcome. You know who did that shit. Stand on business. Shooter. That scared Hi. the shit out of me. Something? Yeah. I was looking for a cleaner that I had that might have gotten into my makeup samples. Would you happen to know anything about that? No. Not a thing. But if I were you, I would be a little more careful about what I leave lying around. I changed my mind. I do want you to ask Terrence to look into Joanna for me, if you could, please. Well, yes, of course, of course. But why the sudden change of heart? I don't know, I just, I have this funny feeling. Before she was so sweet and now, I don't know, I thought we were getting along. Okay, so what happened? You know, the disaster at work with my products. Yeah. I talked to the chemist this morning and he proceeds to tell me that they detected lie. In my samples, Joanna was the only one near those samples. So I'm, I'm going through the garbage, trying to see maybe I left something, I don't know, and then she tells me, maybe you shouldn't leave stuff lying around. What? I don't even think about it at first. And the other day I asked her, I can't find my credit card. I said, I'm searching for my credit card. I asked her, have you seen it? And she flipped out on me. I'm like, I don't know, maybe, Maybe I'm going crazy. Hey, bro, where's your, uh, where's your, uh, your stepsis at? Pro probably downstairs. Why? I mean, okay, bro. So listen, like, okay, come on, bro. <laughs> we've been look. So we've been texting back and forth. Let him. Right? Why are you acting all funny about it? Y'all not even blood related. And I'm not gonna lie, she's been on one. Look at this. Uh, look at this picture she sent me right here. Bro, look no. at this one. Oh, look at that one. Stop. Ah. Stop. Ah. Stop. Stop. Uh, nigga pee. I'm crying. I gotta pee. <laughs> yeah. What are you telling me that for? You, you know where the bathroom is, right? Oh, yeah, I got it. Yep. Oh, yeah, I would never. Hello? Hey, beautiful. It's me. I mean, well, we might as well see what's inside. What's up? Everybody snooping and shit. Oh, I guess just hit the chat. <laughs> no way. Hello, bruh. Was that a diary? Oh my god. I gotta tell Brian about this. <laughs> Oh shit. Got that nigga out of there. Her 
our first victim. You're on speaker. It's me and Terry. Close your door. Hey, y'all. Hey, How's it going? So I was able to pull some strings on some information about this Doug Dorham. Joanna Lawrence isn't her real name. It's actually Maggie Dillon. What? Yeah. So I started checking out her online presence, and I couldn't find anything. So I dug a little deeper. So apparently, Joanna Lawrence has been going by this name for years. Does she have a juvie record? Just a couple minor infractions, but uh, nothing alarming. What about Michael? Well, so far, Michael background checks is good. You know? So so far, he's clean. Yeah, a real clean liar. Oh, come on, guys. Hey, baby, I miss you. Why didn't you even tell me that Joanna is not her real name? Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. I know that her name is Maggie Dillon. Who told you that? Cass asked Terrence to check her out. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute. You had your sister's cop husband do a background check on my daughter? Yeah. That's right. Things are off, Michael. She changed her name for a reason, and you're sitting here lying to me and covering. I need answers. Baby, 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 calm down. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't tell me to calm down. Okay, you're right. Yes, Joanna did get her name changed, okay? But it wasn't me. It was her grandparents. Listen to me. You gotta understand, this is... This was around the time when I was getting drunk. <sighs> then I started dating this woman. <sighs> Her name was Heather. You know, I thought it was going to fix things. But it only made it worse. Heather was abusing Joanna Whitney. Mentally, physically. <sighs> and when Joanna told me, I didn't even believe her. I didn't believe my baby. Not until I called Heather myself. And that's when they took Joanna away from me. Heather went to jail. And Joanna went to live with her grandparents. And I was all alone, again. So when Heather got out, her grandparents thought that as a safety precaution, it would be better if Joanna got her name changed. And yeah, I didn't tell you because I figured that it wasn't my business to tell you. I figured Joanna would tell you whenever she felt comfortable enough with you. But now, I don't even think that's possible. Are you saying it's my fault that she doesn't feel comfortable? No, 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 no. Baby, no. Listen, okay? Joanna's been through a lot, all right? And if you're saying that she's acting out, she has trust issues. And all I'm telling you is that if she's acting out, it's probably because she's been triggered, you know? Now I feel like a complete jerk. No, 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 listen, baby. It's not your fault. Like I said, I, I should have told you. Yeah, you should have told me a lot before we adopted your daughter. What's that supposed to mean? It means that there's been a series of strange occurrences. My mother's urn, my presentation, the chemist calls and tells me that there's lie in my samples. Lie, Michael. How does something like that get in there? Whitney, whoa, whoa, calm down. Listen to yourself. You're not even making sense. Calm what down, bad thing to have to do all this to you? I don't know. But it doesn't mean that she didn't. It don't mean that she did either. You just said that she could be acting out and triggered. I'm not doing this with you. Listen to me. See you, I Nick. love you, all right? But I love my daughter, too. Can we just try to work this out as a family? We already got people talking about we got married too quickly, and I know it messed things up when Joanna popped up, but I love you, and I need you to have my back. We can get through this. Let's go. Hurry. Where are you going? To the movies. You didn't run it by me first. Uh, I asked my dad. He said it was fine. I took the boys to the park last week, and there wasn't an issue. Well, I don't think it's a good idea for them to go anywhere with you without your father or me present. Why? 
What, do you think they're unsafe with me or something? I didn't say that. Listen, Whitney, mm -hmm. I think that's a little bit hypocritical coming from you. Talk Mrs. That almost hurt herself sleepwalking. Fuck you, bitch. Maybe too much pill popping you're doing. Fuck you. You better watch your slick ass mouth, little girl. Yeah, or mm -hmm. what? Are you gonna hit me? Yeah, I wonder what my dad would feel about that. No, I'm not gonna hit you. But I'm sure your dad would love to hear about this little discussion. So let's just wait until he comes back to have this conversation, Maggie. What oh, did you just say? Shit. Keep playing with me. It's gonna be trouble for you, little girl. Yeah. Well, Joanna was just telling me that she can't take you two to the movies. So I'm gonna be taking you guys. She has other plans. Come on. Wait, what? Let's get in the car. Hey. Hey. Can I come in? Yeah. Come in. No, little bro, she gonna kill so you, So your bro. mom kinda swung left on me this morning. Oh. I knew something, something happened. So I was thinking I'm gonna find a place to stay for the next couple of days while my dad's still out of town. I really don't want to cause any more trouble. Please. Especially after what happened with the urn. The urn? You, that was an accident. Yeah, but, but still, I really should have just told your mom right away that I dropped it accidentally. Joanna, you shouldn't have to stay anywhere else, you know? So, um, hell, I'll talk to her. I'll get her to chill or something. Really? Yeah. Stop dick riding, bro. Thank you. No, stop, stop, stop. Stop taking that shit. Razor. What's this for? What's she doing? What's she doing? That's the blade, right? Son. You know you can tell me anything, no matter what it is. You can tell me and you won't get in trouble, right? Yeah. I know, Mom. Everything's cool. <sighs> okay. Are, are you all right? You look tired. My sweet boy. I'm okay. Your mommy's okay. Uh. Lights out. All right. I love you. Love you too. Good night. Yeah. I'm I'm a risk guy. I'm like. I mean, I, if you wanted to talk to him, you could have just said that. I mean, it was no problem. Yeah. Mm, son. One second. Yeah. I'm waking you up at six thirty, whether you get sleep or not. So I suggest okay. you get off that phone. Turn these lights out. You about talking about here, risk no. guy? Are you okay? Yes, baby. All right. Look like you're the one who needs sleep, so. These posters off the wall. Come on, go to bed. <laughs> Poster. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Make it to the bed. I'll make it to the bed. <sighs> Little bro, go check on your mom. wondering if you got the chance to talk to your mom yet. Uh, no, actually I haven't. Not yet. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Whenever you get the chance. Oh, uh, yeah. I can, I can do it now. Really? Yeah. What type of that play would is this? That be really great. My dad will still be out of town for a couple more days, and I really don't want things to be as awkward as they were tonight at dinner. Yeah. What's the strat here? Thanks, BK. It's, it's no big problem. 
It's um, it's cool. Yeah, you're a really good guy. You know yeah, that. Thank you. <clears throat> Come on, bro. See through it, gang. We um, it's what family's for. Right. <laughs> you know how it goes. <laughs> okay. She better be okay. Hey, mom. Um. I, I, I just really wanted to talk to you about Joanna. Um. I just think you overreacting. I really do. Like at dinner, we. You can hear me, right? Mom. Are you sleeping? Mom. Mom, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, mom, huh? Stop! <laughs> I hate this movie. Why they gotta kill fine shit? I hate when fine shit dying. The fuck, bro? Why, bro? Why, bro? Why, bro? No! No! this before no no I mean she she suffered from depression before but she's never tried to commit suicide why the fuck I just get so scared like that I'm locking my door scared the shit out of me you know okay that's all I need officer when can Whitney be released typical standard procedure in a case like this it's over 72 hours. You guys have someone coming to pick you up? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Poor baby. How's your mom? Where, where is she? I don't know. I take it you're... I'm Cassandra. I'm their mother's sister. Well, good news. She's fine. Stable condition. But the bad news is we're gonna have to keep her here a few more days, just as a precaution, just to take further tests. Wait, Thank she's God okay, she's okay. Right? Yes. I, I understand. Can can we see her? Actually, she would like to only speak to you just for the moment. But I want to see my mom. We should all be able to see our see my mom. It's okay. It's There's all right. No okay. It's fine. Just just stay with your brother, okay? Stay with your brother. Do you mind? Anything you need. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where is she? Cass. You have to get me out of here. I didn't do it. You have to believe me. Honey, look at you. I, I don't know what happened. I was in my bathroom taking my medicine, and, and now I'm here. What? They think you tried to commit suicide. I didn't. I... Do you think it could have been Joanna? You think Joanna tried to kill you? I don't. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. It... And my boys, oh my God, my boys are out there and I cannot let them see me like this. <sighs> They're not gonna let me leave. So, will you please take the boys with you until I can get out of here? Yes, of course. <sighs> Do not let them near my stepdaughter. I don't know if she is trying to hurt them or, or, or you or, or, or don't worry. something. Don't worry, the boys will be fine with us. But if you think this little girl is capable of something like this, then she needs to be locked up. What does Michael think about all this? I... I, I haven't told him yet. I don't want to worry him until I know for sure. <sighs> okay. Well, you need to get some rest. <sighs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. You guys are gonna come home with me and Uncle Terrence, okay? 
So is this just a family affair, or is everybody invited to the sleepover? Oh, Joanna, of course. Actually, yeah. she just mentioned Brian and Eric. What are you talking about? That's, that's not fair. She's family. Hon, do you She's mind family. taking them to the car? Yeah. No, we don't have to go to no car. You just called me. Yes. Hey. Figure it out, little bruh. I suppose, Joanna, you're old enough to take care of yourself at the house while Whitney's in the hospital. Cook up, shorty. You're right. I can take care of myself. Okay. I'll be at home. Nah, she not about to burn the house down, right? Don't tell me that was her plan. Oh, nah, she going too far. Box cutter. About that seeing the state you were in last we spoke I put a rush on your toxology report and well um, I just got the results in this morning and I have to admit I mean it looked very troubling to say the least now a woman of your standing um, I shouldn't have to remind you mrs. Lawrence that mixing recreational drugs and antidepressants is a very dangerous game I don't what are you talking about Look, everything is right here in black and white, Mrs. Lawrence. I don't know what you're talking about. I've, I've never done drugs in my life. Then how do you explain us finding cocaine, diphenhydramine, and in your system, along with your prescribed medication? Cocaine? That combination is be- She's lacing her with coke? One of Satan's greatest soldiers! Hold on, isn't coke supposed to turn you up? Why is she getting tired? Oh no, oh no. Beyond a recipe of disaster. And it's very likely that mixing those drugs together, you could have been in an alternate state of mind and then inadvertently attempted suicide. No. No, I'm telling you. I've, I've never... I've never... Either way, Mrs. Lawrence, the police are here and they would like to have a word. <laughs> Miss Lawrence, I want to start by saying you're not under arrest, but your case has been passed on to social services. What? No, no, this is no, no. I, I'm a damn good mother. No, I need my phone. Give me my phone. You can call my husband. This is, this is, this is, this is my stepdaughter's doing. Yeah, she said you might say that. Oh my God. Now, I need you to tell me about an incident that happened a few weeks ago when you were sleepwalking in your backyard. What? Tragically no. fell from the James Davis Bridge. For more on this, tune in tonight no. to the 10 o'clock news. This is crazy. <sighs> Wait, what? What's crazy? What? That's the same park that Joanna took us to the other day. Then she disappeared for like 15 minutes and then came back. <laughs> no. Little bro hit. Do you think she did this to Dante? No. No. I mean, the last time Dante was seen was at our house. <laughs> hell no. Oh, hell. I'm calling Joanna. It, it's, it's just I'm calm down. Joanna. Just calm down, all right? There is no need to call anyone right now. Why? You know what? Auntie, tell us our best friend, Dante. Baby. Look, baby, I hate you. And trust me, I think weird things have been happening since she's been here, but it's nothing for me to bring her in on for questioning. This movie's actually insane. She laced the wife's medicine with cocaine. Cocaine. And then she tried to kill her in her sleep and failed. But, like, what's the purpose of that? I don't know what's going on, bro. They said they're gonna take the kids away. They no. said they're gonna take them. No, you know, we will not let that happen. I need you to listen to me, okay? <sighs> they found Dante dead. What? 
They found his body this morning at the Hamels Creek beneath the old James Davis Bridge. Oh, my God. Cops are thinking it was an accidental fall, but I overheard the boys talking. Dante was last seen at your house before he went missing. Oh, my God, no. And Joanna, she took the boys to the same park. Now, Eric said that she disappeared for 15 minutes before she came back. What? It's my opinion that she may have killed him. No, no way. Have you, have you, have you told anyone? Well, the cops can't question her until either you get out of here or until Michael gets back. Oh, my God. Michael. No, Michael. Michael's never, he's never going to agree to that. I uh, think there is something else you need to take a look at. What, what is it? What is this? God. It's Chantel Lawrence's case file, Joanna's mother. Now, you said that she was killed by a drunk driver, but it says it right here that she was the one that was inebriated. She had cocaine, temazepam, dife, and hydromide all in her system, too. Why would Michael tell me that she was killed by a drunk driver? I don't know. Uh, maybe Michael was too ashamed to admit that his wife was an addict. But let's be real, sis. Michael has not been honest about anything relating to his past. Do you think that Joanna's responsible for her mother's death? At this point, I don't. I, Holy I don't know. shit! Anything is possible. So she killed? Nah, I, no way. I don't. I don't understand, Cass. How? How did she? How could she have given me all of that crap? And I didn't. I didn't know. Just think. Did she? Did she cook for you? No. Did she? Did she make you a protein shake? Come no. on, you gotta think. Never. My, my pills. She saw me taking them every day. Oh my God, she must have poisoned them or something. That has to be it. Because if she doctored your medicine, then her fingerprints are on the bottle and on the capsule. If I can just get that over to Terrence. Don't go to the house. Where are you going? To your house. No, to no, no, your no, house. no, 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 no. Please, that, no, no, no. It's time for you to call Michael and tell him what is really going on. Cass. No. Oh. If if she is as dangerous as we say she is, you cannot go over there. I am not going alone. No, okay? take the cops. Please take the cops. Please take the cops. Clutch up, Fasha. I need you clutching the Glock. And she loud as shit. Don't even try to be you dumbass. I'm scared. You better get out my way, little girl. Bitch, pull out the fire! What game? I read your mother's case file. I know how she died. And I'm willing to bet that once I get these pills to the police, they'll see that you've been trying to take my sister out the same way. <laughs> Oh shit! Come on! Let's work, Fonshi! Let's work, Fonshi! No. Please. Start biting. Spitting. Bitch, you did not just get flipped. Yes, stop on the hair. Get up! I'm so sure. I'm so sure this. I'm so sure this movie's real. Oh, I'm so, I'm so certain. I'm so certain. I'm so certain. Had a fucking fine, didn't use it, y'all.
I verify I should not be alive. Hey, wait, I just got to the house. I see a car I'm going inside. And you came solo? I'm done. Yo! <laughs> Growing ass man. Cass, thank God you answered. Hey. I'm sorry. Cass can't come to the phone right now. Joanna? Where's where's Cass? Come play, Whitney. Come play. Joanna, this is not a game. Come right play now. is crazy. You have two choices, Wit. Either you come play. No more cops or surprise visitors, just you. Or I go find the boys and play with them instead. What? She has a gun. She has a gun. She's not moving that grown man body. So where is the body? I'm so sure that she getting her ass beat by a 17 year old. I'm so sure. <laughs> Fuck this movie. Fuck. <sighs> Was that really that hard, Wit? Oh, God, you're complicating things so much. If only you knew how much planning went into this, maybe you would be a little bit more respectful of my time. You're a lot more difficult than my granny. Come on. She. She killed the granny too? Oh my god, she's killing everybody. Oh my god. Killed my granny today. Granny fine shit too. Granny fine shit. Harder. But it was actually easy. <laughs> Piece of shit. You're probably wondering what I hit you with. I am. It's she a better concentrated be alive. dose of tamazepam, which is one of the main ingredients in the little cocktail I replaced some of your pills with. I don't know how you caught on to that so quickly. Hey, I'm not gonna kill you. Terrence, your sister, they're, they're still alive. Just easier to manage. So, what are you gonna do? Now we're just waiting for the guests of honor to arrive. Who's that? You know, this was supposed to be so easy wit. A simple murder-suicide. I was gonna make it look like you took out your family, you offed yourself, and you set your house on fire. Headlines would have read, mentally insane businesswoman goes crazy and murders her family then kills herself. But that's not what happened. You know, it was supposed to just be a little tragic blurb in the media, maybe trended on social media for a day or two. Then we would have all been able to move on with our lives. But look at the mess you created. The cops are involved, your brother-in-law, your sister. My God, it was supposed to be so easy. But you made it so personal. You see, when it was never personal. She might be the craziest one we've seen in all the movies.
Jess was kind of crazy. Jess from um whatever movie that was when Buddy got pissed on. But nah, she diabolical. This real diabolical shit, yo. Because she got no reason to do this. I mean, she do, but she don't. You were just a victim of circumstance. Uh, uh, no, please stop. Uh, uh, stop. Stop whining. Who's that? Whitney. We're coming. Uh, Wait. Now it looks like the guest of honor has arrived. You know what I'm saying I just want to make sure everything is in place. Yeah. Well, what's wrong? Don't you trust me? Come on now, baby girl. You know daddy trusts you. It's just that this is our biggest job ever. This bitch ass nigga was in on it? <laughs> All light skinned niggas gonna pay for this. Who a light skinned nigga I can think of? First nigga on my list is Plat Boy Max. No bullshit. And I need to make sure that you down to do whatever needs to be done like killing kids exactly about killing the damn kids with them out the way and Whitney gone we stand to inherit everything okay I need to know if you're ready to win sacrifices gotta be made if you wanna win this nigga's a genius are you ready to sacrifice sorry Yo, how did I not pick up on that? I knew that looked like a man hand, bro. I peeped them ones man hands, bro. I told you this was never personal. Daddy Dearest had had his eyes set on you for over a year now. Mm. Usually his targets were little old ladies looking for one last thrill. He'd set the op, figure out the entire scheme, and then the old bags would mysteriously kneel over and we'd get their inheritance or their life insurance or both and we'd just move on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. I ain't going to lie, this is a respectable game plan. Respectable. It takes a lot of thought. Do I agree with it? No. Would I do it? No. No. Cause where are them damn boys? Are they here? As a matter of fact, why are these two even here? Like huh? I told you on the call, there were complications. Nah, ain't no complications. The only complication is them boys. Because if they still alive, that's a problem, okay? See, I know I couldn't trust your ass. Damn. I should have never put you in charge. Now I got to fix everything. I got to get all this plastic up. Look at this. Don't you just hate it when he talks to us like this? Like he's talking down on us like we're little ants in his farm. Like, my God. Grow the hell up, Maggie. Because we on the time crunch now. So go ahead and call Brian like I told you to do. Tell him to come home and bring his little badass brother. <laughs> I'll handle the rest of this. I always got to fix everything. Wait, did you even get the gun? Huh? It's right here. Good girl. Get it to me. Give me the gun. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The boys weren't the complication, Daddy Dearest. What? This file is. The hell is that? It's the case file for Mom's accident. The one oh, you shit. told me she was murdered in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about, Maggie, but I ain't got time for games. Give me Whitney. the gun. Heather. She wasn't just my dad's first girlfriend after my mom died. She was his first murder. Oh, shit. Hey, ain't nobody got time for this. Let's go, oh, man. We shit. on the time. At least that's what I was told, because she was the one that was behind the wheel. She was the one who had murdered my mom. Hey, Maggie, hey. Which is the only reason why he picked her. Oh. At least that's what I was told. Look. Oh? What? That's fuck. Enough is enough, all right? Just give me the gun, baby. But that's not the truth. Is it, Dad? Because this says that my mom was the one who was under the influence. That my mom was the one who passed out behind the wheel. 
My mom is the one who hit Heather. Look at here, Maggie. I'll talk to you about whatever you want to know whenever we get done with this, but right now, I need that gun. They found three substances in her system. Would you like to see? Hey. Benadryl, cocaine, and tamazepam. The three main ingredients to your little cocktail. Isn't that right, Pox? Maggie. Give me a gun, baby. Did you kill my mom? Stop pointing at He killed your mom. Kill him. You poisoned my mom? Stop pointing that damn gun at me. And what was I? Just collateral damage? What if I was in the car? Would I have just died too? Would you have even cared? Maggie, you sure. killed me. Oh, this is fuck. girl. Daddy would never do nothing to hurt you. <laughs> now give me that damn gun. Pop him. Really? You gotta fix your mistakes. Clearly, you can't do nothing, right? You didn't even give this girl enough of the damn medicine, did you? She's getting her feelings back. Damn. No, you're right. I didn't give her all of it. I was saving some. Saving it for what? Because oh, she about to hit this nigga with a needle. What? What are you doing? Hope she gained her feeling back and murk all the humans. She has a gun in the purse. What are you doing? Two piece. Two piece. Double kill. Double kill. Double kill. Double kill. Double kill. Collect. Collect. She had a collect? She had a collect! She had... Get her in phase. Get her in phase. Get her in phase. On my life, get her in phase. Sorry, Mrs. Lawrence. Nobody was found. What? Your husband's missing. What about Joanna? She was rushed to a nearby hospital. Her condition's critical. What? You have no idea what she is capable of. She's contained, ma'am. Trust me. She isn't going anywhere. Whoa, she thick shit in the back. Oh, nah, it's not ending. Nah, don't end. Damn, that was a good watch, y'all. That was a good watch. It was a lot of shit going on, but not that much shit going on. Like, you just had to watch. That's like the best movie we not seen, uh, like the best actual movie. Wow. I have nothing to say. Fuck Joanna, don't fuck, fuck the light skinned nigga. I told you, I've been telling y'all about light skinned niggas for like three years now, bro. Maybe longer. Actually, I've been telling y'all about life connections since longer, bro. But I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching the vid. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord. Follow the Twitch. Follow the Instagram. All that good stuff. Um, Yeah, top five heat. Top five heat. And I will see you in the next video. Come on. Maybe that's not what I'm used to. I want to go back to the old shit. Me and my cousin, no mind what we used to. I only got one more chance to butter my life. I already used to.